Hello everybody! Today is going to be something very new on YouTube, a new kind of tutorial, I believe. I will play a solo for you and then in the second part comes the new bit, I will comment and discuss the solo step by step, stop and go, because many of you always want to know what do you think? What did you think while playing? Why did you play it there? And I hope to give you new insights into playing a solo. After that comes the third part, the whole solo in slow motion for you to look at every single little bit. I hope you love it. So hello, uh, let's comment my solo. Why am I commenting this? I want you to understand something. I want you to understand the phrasing and the emotions and what I do to uh, create that effect. And off we go. Just starting with the harmless. So, ah, you were okay. Uh, I'm merciful. So I'm starting just with the story. You know, uh, a guy is just strolling through his house, and uh, just when you th when you stroll through your own house, there's not much exciting. You know where the television set is. Uh, you know where the books are if you have any. So nothing here except um, major blues scale and plus ending with a nice sound. So you know these uh, the royal thirds I call them and it's, it's, it's they sound very nice if you want to connect to the F7 from C7 and what I do now is using a Chicago blues sound echoing this one you see I'm going on here always sounds nice yeah so nothing happening here just building up and waiting for the pain if I stayed like this boring you know, we want to tell a story of uh, love and pain and disappointment. You are telling a story with emotions. Get your emotions out. Teasing a little bit. Important moment in your life. 
was that one here. It was a f long phrase that sounded very much like a blues singer. Can you imagine? Okay, let's move, let's move here now. Ah, you know, we've been here up to now. Now we're climbing up. So climbing up the notes is always giving away more energy. You don't start here. That sounds like Hitchcock or like the dentist again. No, you, you're working, you're teasing, you're just walking and then suddenly, ah. First distrust, is my girlfriend cheating on me cause he's finding a photograph. He hasn't turned it around yet or just sees it in the mirror. Okay, so here, just climbed up to this one. And then, what am I doing there? Why not ending there? Because pain and suspicion and all feelings are swelling down. Pain can rise very fast. As you know, if you are uh, biting on a chestnut and your, um, your filling is falling out and suddenly you have this strong pain, but no pain really goes down like tick, like a lightning, but it, uh, Imagine I am hitting you uh, with my best shoes on your kneecaps. It would be swelling down. It would come up and then your rest is scale with, with filled with very simple and basic routines. You've all along learned on my tutorial. And you see I'm ending this with these routines. And I've taught you that last video, these uh, routines. So it's just, this is important. This one is the important note. And swelling down with what you've got. Scale and a couple of routines. And that already is nice. It's nice. And so the end of a line is a good routine. So I taught you to learn those routines for the end of lines. Because here is maybe it's meaningless, but ah, that sounds professional. So ending with a routine, okay? So it was the first little climax, you know? And you, here you can already see we are telling different chapters. We are causing a little bit, stirring a little bit of emotions and going down and I expect there's gonna be more, of, more pain. I know it already, I know it. I know it, Christian's always causing more pain. Okay, that's drone leg. Yeah, there was a Dr. John sound, this double voiced uh, turnaround. I uh, have my special pocket of sounds. You should have yours too, um, that you can play just like that uh, to create a, some special corners, special sounds, a couple of turnarounds, a couple of uh, breaks, a couple of uh, this and that, uh, that you practice. And telling you again, if you practice 100 licks, you won't remember any. I cannot play 100 licks, yeah? But if you have a couple that you can just get out of, of your, out of your pocket, like this one, then you can use it actually. 100 you will never use. Ah, and here we have, here we have this. Here's a new chapter of uh, Little Red Riding Hood. No, it's a chapter of our, uh, of our guy who just saw f a photograph and thought, well, what's on the other side? And now, next chapter, what's gonna happen? He saw the photograph upside down. And he just know on the, on the backside of the photograph, he could tell something written in German. Okay. He just turned it around. Can you see? I was teasing the phrase a little bit and then I went for the, let's hear that again. Yeah, 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 shall I turn it around? I will, I will now. Yes. And he saw the pain. How did I do? How did I cause that pain? First, I, I did a little thrust like, uh, I think I used it. 
Yeah, probably. Here. So very fast, I exploded to the A. And the A is, it's a part of the um, a major blues scale, but it's sticking out if you play it like this. And if we play the diminished five, it sticks out. It's a very painful sound. The diminished five or the three tonos, same from C to oh. So, but here, this is special. I give it a little push, you don't have to. Um, and then, wah, bah, bah, bah. so what the heck is that? That fucking Christian is on that uh, photograph, the German uh, piano teacher of his wife, and uh, he has, has, it's uh, in a compromising situation. They are in a piano lesson, and uh, Christian has his hand on her shoulders. How can he dare? How can he dare to? And you end again with some routine. This is the top thing, and the end routine in the middle. And you can play scale, routine, and energy down. A short shock. There was a short shock, and it goes down. Beware of those piano teachers, and the hand on the shoulders. Only the first step usually. Then comes the pat on the on the neck. Hey, you did well, uh, Melinda. You did fantastic. Now it's quite hot here, isn't it? Do you know that you play so much faster if you if you if you open your blouse that even the old masters said so. You know, watch out for German piano um, teachers. Okay, so what's coming now? And energy down to the middle. Oh, oh Melinda, Melinda. I remember now. We had such a nice time. It was nice. It was nice. You lied to me, but... Ah! There, you know, he thought, well, I still love her, but not that bitch! That bitch. So we have to use vulgar language because blues is about life and uh, life is vulgar. Life is not sophisticated. It has at least very vulgar and uh, banal moments. And so really, now he wants to kill him. Yeah. Where was I? Let, let me see. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and routines. You can fill these now with the stuff you want to like, you like, and with the stuff you can play. Uh, now we play blue scale. You see? But. We had three steps now. We had, this was the first uh, uh, level of pain, then, uh, then we had this one, and now, uh, was it like that? It was like that, let me see. Whoop. Yes. And, yes, I'm a bit more uh, uh, skilled with my fingers, um, but so you don't have it doesn't need don't think it needs that virtuoso style you gotta hit your emotions in here and you play your boring uh, down here but here you have to go and dare something not go to the next tutorial because there's a next lick waiting you gotta work on this one everybody can play this but you gotta throw in your personality here Imagine what you, what you would do if you saw a picture of your wife <laughs> um, with Christian in a piano lesson and he has the hand on his shoulder. Im just imagine that. You know I'm a dangerous man. Okay, uh, let's move on. So, what were, where were we? Okay, next chorus. Now, listen that I introduce a new sound. Sometimes I recommend to you, if you're listening at all, that uh, each chorus um, should have a different sound. So you give the listener new food. Ah, that tastes different. Instead of just always playing scales up and down, licks up and down. Um, so a different sound, in this case, I uh, play a little bit of block chord, like. New sound. Listener um, wakes up again, thinks, ah, 
that's interesting. You want them to follow and it's nice to hear a difference in structure in the, uh, uh, in the, how do you call it? Yeah, the structure of the sound. So, and then you will see me, I played this little thing. It's just the C6 chord in, uh, in versions. And then you will see me play like, like something up and, hey, I echoed this motif. You will soon get a tutorial about how to play a good piano solo. And uh, there we treat uh, motives and how to lead the listener and um, have him stay with you. And um, an echo is one of those things because, ah, I know that from somewhere. He just played that. Ah, what's going to happen here? So it's leading the listener by the nose. And I'll do the same, um, the following uh, phrase when I pretend to go up like I play I don't know. Let's just listen. I pretend to go up, go a little bit down, but not all the way. So you don't, this, it's not the only way to go up and then tension down. You can also, and you must, you should, um, uh, give the drama different lines because otherwise the listener knows like, ah, it's up, it's going down again. He always does that. And if, if he's ahead of you, you lost. So, um, so you can also do and you pretend to go down and then you go even higher. And then you can, you can even go higher that. So that's up to you. It's part of your creativity and uh, your, um, your own emotions and how you want to tell your story. Listen to that. Okay, now comes the echo of the motive. Here we are. Where is go? See, see, I was doing like uh, something like this, and then I went. So I was just pretending, and then I went up again. Let's have that again. Oh, a bit further it was. What is he gonna do? And there he goes up. You see my hand. You see my hand. It's kind of a. Doesn't look very healthy in my hand. I'll go to the doctor. Okay. Kind of the, the skin is dissolving. Okay. And now. Up and, and. Now I go down and I use a different path. After a while you will develop different paths to go down because the listener also wants some diversity. Um, so you cannot just always go with the same trick, but you must collect a couple of uh, ways to go down like I did I did tutorials on that already so he, this time I use a I use a little bit different way and you so and there are many ways okay so have a couple of those ready and so now I'm I just you know hesitated to give away and then hit the no, uh, top note and then with a different uh, mechanism Repetition. You know, I know uh, for my students, uh, they, the students don't do that on their own. They want to play something different because they think different is more. But imagine you are, you are uh, talking to somebody um, angrily. A repetition is your main instrument. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why, 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 why? This is energy. It's anger. Why? 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 And okay. And going down. I forgot to show you this chord oh, because in the beginning I just wanted to um, give you the, uh, the turn around and from G7 um, you know the, the next soloist would come or the theme would come again so but here I decided I give you a finish and I think I did play 
Yeah, it's hard to play. So here I played with the 10, of course, that's also already hard, and now comes an even harder bit. I play the 7 and the sharp 9. Already you know the sound. <coughs> Subscribe to me, then you don't have all these empty eyes full of questions right now, because you would know all of them. My students know that, right? You're 20,000, you know. Okay. And then the 6, and then the octave. So You can also just play this one, that's easier. Also very nice. And this one you can arpeggiate, you can dissolve, so it's easier playable. And then you can do like... Hit the pedal down, put a stone on it, or your laptop, and then... Ooh. How did you like that? Discussing me, discussing my own solo. I wouldn't tell you the bad parts though. <laughs> I even played a wrong for Ben Note here. Did you realize? Okay, I don't care.
you finally made it. Thanks for watching. I hope I could contribute something to your understanding of blues music and improve your skills. Now you can uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing, pick another video. Uh, please also help me um, produce this video, especially this kind. It takes a lot of time. Become a member of my Patreon supporters. Now go practicing. I hope I could inspire you. Thank you very much. Bye.